YouTube, YouTube. Back at you again with another video. Check this out, man. Have you ever been out there working on your bike and you had to do a chain adjustment or you had to take your back tire off and you'd be like, man, I dread doing this because putting it back on is gonna be a nightmare. Well, guess what came in the mail today? Some light tech. Uh, chain adjusters. Yeah, I was gonna leave a link, link in the description below for where I got this from. Just take the description. I also have a playlist. You guys are asking me what, where the, you see mods on a bike and you don't know what where the mod came from. I have a playlist, man. Check out the playlist. Um, it's pretty interesting. All the mods that I've done to the bike so far. So if you see something behind me that you're like, whoa, what is that? Where did you get that from? Um, check out the playlist on the channel. But we're gonna install some uh, some chain adjusters on the ZX6R 2020 uh, today. And if you don't know how to install some chain adjusters, just pay pay attention. It's pretty simple though. Um, these things, what they do is whenever I have to do my chain adjustments, a lot of times, believe it or not, it takes the um, math out of the process or having to look at both sides of the swing arm to figure out if the line is right, if the angle is right, is it lined up correctly? Because a lot of times if that back tire is at an angle, you're gonna, you're gonna prematurely wear out that back tire. So let's, let's, let's get to the install, shall we? Uh, I don't have the packaging that it came in, but in this video, we're just gonna pretty much talk about, what does that say? Born to be moto. All right, all right, all right. Let's take this out of here real quick. Guys, I think this is gonna be the last video that I make on the ZX6R, only because there's pretty much nothing else to do to the bike. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know what else to do. Okay, so this goes, just by looking at this one, this is gonna go on the clutch side, and then this one is going to go on the brake side. And guys, whenever you do an install like this, please, please, please don't forget your a medium um, thread lock, but you're gonna put Loctite here, 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 and that's it. Nowhere else on the bike. My recommendation, push this all the way, but no, not yet, I have to put this on first. This goes here like that, and it holds against a swing arm. And then once you have this in place here, you push this all the way forward. And then when it's time to adjust the chain, you know how far back to go. Let's get started. All right, so one more difference. If you look at the swing arm, right? So you see how the swing arm is out like this? Okay, so what this does is, like a lot of times when I have to adjust the, um, the lines, to me, this is more difficult to, to follow than, than this. This is a lot easier. And then this curved part, rest up against against this part here that's what this curved part is for and then obviously this is sits in place like that in case you're wondering the socket size on the ZX6R2020 is a 32 so uh, so yeah get a 32 and knock this thing off so what's your what you're gonna what you're gonna leave or not put back on the bike is this nut this plate, so you're gonna have one, two, the same thing, three, four, and then this should be number five. So you're gonna need a 12 and a 10. I think it's two 12s. So let me loosen those two up real quick and then I'll just take the axle out. All right guys, so real quick, just wanna go over something with you. You should have five pieces that come off the bike that don't go back on. It's gonna be those uh, plate adjusters. You're going to have two of those. You're going to have the lock to, to move the plate adjusters. And then you're going to have a washer um, that goes on this. And then your axle nut. All right, now that we got the wheel off, what is this? I don't know what this is. All right, let me go get some grease and 
I'm gonna go get some grease for this guy. All right, so now that we got the axles and everything off, we can go ahead and back this guy out of here completely because you're not gonna need this anymore. And then with a little bit of movie magic, I'm gonna clean up the bike a little bit because I don't like all this dirt, grime, and such. It looks pretty nasty. All right, that side's done. Come over to this side. Like I always preach, don't throw away or get rid of your OEM parts. All right, YouTube, so I'm gonna get my thread Loctite. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw it on the threads. It's the semi-permanent Loctite. I just put a, a couple of dabs. I don't go too crazy. I try not to put too much in the beginning or towards the front of the threads only because there's so much more that has to go in. But whatever, bro. Oh, and the size, the hex head you'll need, it's, if I'm not mistaken, this is a five millimeter five millimeter all right so the ones that hold this part in place that one is a four millimeter all right so you see we got a four millimeter right there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this I'm gonna put some some blue Loctite on the smaller threads because believe it or not you actually have to put these on first before you put it onto the bike boom line this up like that this guy falls in here like that grab the second one line that up I wouldn't say tighten them down all the way because they have to lock onto their swing arm but just get them started right then when you transfer it over to the bike it should line up and we're gonna put this in place like that all right, like that, and then you put this guy inside of here. So I'm gonna tighten everything up, button everything up, and then I can put the rear axle. But once I put this all the way in, I'm gonna slide this forward. Tighten this down. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, putting this on is a nightmare. Like, I don't know, man, light tech. Y'all don't send tools with y'all. I mean, is. First of all, this part is expensive. Let me just, that's first. It's the best I can do with what I have. Did this whole thing just shift? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it did. All right, let's loosen up. I guess it's best to then tighten down these two with the four millimeter before I've completely wrenched that down. So let me grab my four mil real quick. Make sure this part doesn't shift too much. Because I want to keep that as flat as I can. Um, don't snug it too much because it still has, has to move forward when you tighten this down. But just enough to where once you tighten this part down, it doesn't move this part out too much. So turn this all the way to zero. I like the haptic, I mean, the, I like the feedback, the clicks that it gives you. That's a 10 millimeter, so what I normally do, what I normally do when I work on these adjusters, I just put this and this, and then now it's a lot easier on my fingers. It's not always recommended, but I do that. And I just turn it. I mean, if you're working on a project like this and you want it to be a little bit easier in your hand, just turn and keep going all the way until that reaches zero. When I say zero, I'm talking about the first notch because then you don't have any more room. All right, so now that I know these guys are in place, I can go in and put the wheel back. But before I do that, I'm going to clean out this residue that's inside of this... Uh, here all right one of the last steps don't forget to add your all-purpose uh, grease to the rear axle just lightly I mainly put it on the areas I know that it rides on so like for here and then here but lightly all the way around the whole tube I need two hands to do that but basically I just put a light coat real light coat 
All right, so now that I got it coated with a little bit of grease, like I said, not that much. It's a light, light coat on the whole thing. I can go ahead and put the wheel back on the bike. All right, so now that we got everything seated on this side perfectly the way it should. Okay, while doing this part, I don't recommend snugging the axle nut at all. Um, at all, literally. Um, what you want to do first is to back this out to where you get the proper chain slack. So I'm going to take this first one, I'm going to take that first notch to 10 on this side, then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. So let me take it to 10 real quick. Oof, when it gets tight like that, it means you got to go over to the other side and do the same thing because the axle is not lined up properly. So let's go over to, to 10. All right, so that first notch is on 10. Now we want to get the same thing to this side. So we're nowhere near 10. Let's go over to, to 10. All right, so we're at 10, but we got a lot of play. So we're going to go take this first notch <clears throat> to 15. Boom. And then we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Take this notch to 15. Boom. Okay. And then now that we know that boom at 15, I got way too much play in my chain. So I'm going to take it over to, to 18. Okay, so we got um, 15, 16, I'm right at 17. I think I can go over one more. Still a little bit too much play. Okay, so I'm one, two, so 20, 19, 18. So I'm at 18 on this side. Let me come over to 18 on this side and do the same thing. Okay, I'm at 18 there. I check my slack. Still a little bit on the loose side. So I'm gonna take it over to 19. And 19 is perfect. So if you look, this notch here, if you wanna count that one, is right after that main big one. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but it's right after so that back that inside line is right at that big one so if i put the other side the same way i know my per my tires are perfectly lined up so i'm gonna do the same thing to this side right there so just to give you a better look at how the rear chain adjusters look on the bike this is it from the far angle this is it from the top and I'm not gonna lie to you, those red wheel spacers look clean on this bike. And yeah, so yeah guys, I wanna thank you for watching this 2020 Ninja ZX6R rear chain adjuster replacement. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.